This is Brother Paxton, everybody. I'm coming to you from the Stonewall Jackson Cemetery in Lexington, Virginia. On a Monday morning, General Thomas Stonewall Jackson wrote to his beloved wife, Mary Anna, speaking of the wonderful Sunday he had had the day before. He also told of bad weather conditions that brought great discomfort to the southern armies. Here's what he said. Monday morning. This is a beautiful and lovely morning. Beautiful emblem of the morning of eternity in heaven. I greatly enjoy it after our cold, chilly weather, which made me feel doubtful of my capacity, humanly speaking, to endure this campaign, should we remain long in tents. But God, our God, does and will do all things well. And if it is his pleasure that I should remain in the field, he will give me the ability to endure all its fatigues. I hope my little sunshiny face is as bright as this lovely day. Yesterday I heard, heard a good sermon from the chaplain of the 2nd Regiment, and at night I went over to Colonel Garland's regiment of Longstreet's Brigade and heard an excellent sermon from the Reverend Mr. Granberry of the Methodist Church. All Christian, every Christian will experience weariness in their Christian walk at one time or another. See, Jackson was weary here. And he was expressing that in a letter to his wife. Sometimes our wives hear about our weariness before anybody else does. All Christians will experience weariness in their Christian walk at one time or another. There was no exception for General Jackson. He thanked God for the lovely warm day after enduring so much cold, chilly weather that he had grown a little bit discouraged. He rejoiced in the beauty around him and gave praise to the Lord, who does all things well. Undoubtedly, he had endured long periods while campaigning in the field with his army. The beautiful morning that dawned was to him a glimpse of what heaven might be like. It came as a refreshing in his here and now, and so he equated it with what heaven may be like. Jackson believed that God would help him endure whatever hardships would come his way. Psalm 73 verses 2 through 17 is a good reading uh, for us when we find ourselves in hardships. And here's part of that verse. It says, But as for me, my feet came close to stumbling. My steps had almost slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant, as I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there are no pains in their death. When I pondered to understand this, it was troublesome in my sight until I came into the sanctuary of God, then I perceived their end. And as we leave this little segment here, I'm going to have Angie pan around, and Stonewall Jackson's monument is right behind us. As we remember the general today, and as we remember the lessons that God would have us to learn from his life. Bless you.